Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Coat Nerd. Today I just wanted to put out a video because a while back I had gotten a surplus um, HK93 mag, which is actually this one right here. Um, it was one of the grade two or X grades from AIM Surplus. I think it was like 30 or 40 bucks, basically half the price of the standard aluminum 40 round mags. Um, when I got it, it was pretty grimy. I mean, it did not look like this at all. It actually cleaned up really well. I'm very happy with it. Um, but I looked on YouTube and I cannot find a single video of, um, taking these magazines apart. And the reason I was a little apprehensive was I did come across people talking about, oh, there's, you know, I say people, it was probably just one person in one video, but it was mentioned that these are actually kind of pain in the butt mags to take apart. They're really weird because there's actually two springs in them. So I was like, ooh, crap, you know. Um, HK, we know, we know how those Germans love to over-engineer stuff. So I was a little hesitant to take apart this mag. Disappointed to find that there's no videos on YouTube, shockingly, of anyone taking these apart. Real quick footnote, it's super freaking easy. I was making a much bigger deal than that should have been. Um, and I couldn't even find any pictures of these dual springs that they're talking about. I did recently do a review on my Century C93. And I pulled out the owner's manual for that. And, uh, well, I guess I should have done that when I got the mag, because right here on page eight, it shows what we're working with. And as you can see, nothing too special there. But since there's not a video of it out there anywhere on the uh, Facebook, I figured I'd show you guys real quick how to take apart one of these um, aluminum 40 round mags. And I imagine this will apply towards their 30 and 25 round mags as well. Um, it's very easy. It's nothing to be intimidated by. This one, as you can see, cleaned up really nice. I cannot believe I paid, pretty sure it was 40. I can't believe I paid 40 bucks. It's got the cool stenciling on there. Um, it's actually in better looking shape than the one I got with the C93. This one's got a little more wear on it. So, the original one that came with the gun, I never cleaned it up. Because as you can see, it doesn't look too terribly dirty. This one, not that it matters, is from 1-6 of 1976. Um, but, as you can see, you just got a little button on the bottom. Grab your punch or whatever. Push in. Ooh, yeah, we got some griminess. Ooh, that's very sticky to the touch. Not horrible. But yeah, there. I this definitely could have used some cleaning. There we go. Just kind of push down on it to lodge it loose. And there's our two springs. Nothing to be scared of. And then just pull it out. And then you can see this is on here. You can pop this off. Oh my lord! Roller delays are just dirty by nature. Um. Then on top of the fact that I never cleaned this mag. I didn't grab my stinking knife. So, I still have my HK bayonet for my review, and the tip of this is already bent a little. So, let's use that to pop that off. Voila. And then down here, now the internals of this look a little better off than the, uh, the X grade I got from AIM, that one had quite a bit of rust on it. I mean, a lot of it cleaned up, but it was still rather rusty. Slide that spring off. And we got this little tabby do here. Pop that off. I'm going to throw this all in my ultrasonic cleaner. I've just got one of those cheap Hornaday, Hornady ultrasonic cleaners. I think it's just a jewelry ultrasonic cleaner, like put in a different case. Um, so I'm not sure which one's cheaper. If you can find a cheap, you know, jewelry cleaner, it might be a little bit cheaper just simply because it won't have that Hornady name on there. Oh, God, you need to get out of my way. that out so we got that guy all set and then we got the little floor plate attachment and that pops out real easily 
and then you got your spring. This won't fit in the ultrasonic cleaner, nor will the uh, shell. Um, so I'll just spray this down really good with some CLP. Let it sit for a little while, then wipe it down. All these parts here, we'll get the ultrasonic cleaning. Don't forget about this little dude. Um, and then reassembly is exactly what you saw, but in reverse. And that, my friends, is uh, just how easy it is. So I hope some of you found that this was helpful. This isn't even one of those videos like where you need to follow along. Like you watch it once, you're like, okay, go grab your mag, go to town. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you pop it off, just don't be intimidated because it has two springs. It's easy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay shiny.